In order to calculate the cost for the time a printing job will be on press, we need to understand what press impressions are. So for this lesson, we will define what a press impression is, review the offset lithography printing process because it connects to what a press impression is, and then we'll practice identifying printing towers on a printing press because again, it further supports the concept of what a press impression is. Once we understand what a press impression is, we can use that to make a connection between what a press impression is and how fast a printing press runs, which then allows us to calculate the total time for a job on press. Once we know how much time it will take to run a job on press, we can calculate the cost for that time. And then, just like all of our other lessons, we'll take it one step further by calculating the total cost of the time on press from known information which requires calculations, like calculating number of out and number of sheets needed before you can calculate how many impressions and how much time it will take to print those impressions. So let's get started. What is a press impression? An impression occurs when ink is applied to a sheet of paper as it passes through a printing press. The diagram to the right illustrates the inner workings of a one color printing press tower. Each tower holds exactly one color of ink. The green line at the bottom represents a sheet of paper that will pass through the printing press and have ink applied to it. The press impression occurs when the impression cylinder pushes up on the sheet of paper as it passes between the impression cylinder and the offset cylinder, causing ink from the blanket, which is wrapped around the offset cylinder, to be applied to the sheet of paper. When you are printing using offset lithography, ink starts in the inkwell up here. It is transferred onto the plate, which then transfers the ink to the blanket, which is wrapped around the cylinder, and ultimately it is then makes connection with the sheet of paper as it's going through the press. If you are interested in learning more about how offset lithography works and other printing processes, you can visit the two links that are on the screen here. It is not a requirement for this course, but if you are interested, um, you can watch these videos or maybe even consider taking our printing fundamentals course. There are many different types of offset lithography printing presses. Some can print up to eight colors, while others will only print one color. One way to tell how many colors a press prints is by looking at the printing towers. Each tower on a printing press represents the press's ability to print an additional color. So in the examples below, you can see that there is a one, two, four, six, and eight color press. You can figure this out, obviously, because I have them labeled, but you can also look at the printing towers. This printing press clearly has two vertical towers. Each tower represents one color that's being printed, so this is a two color press. This press has four towers, so it is a four color printing press. In theory, the diagram below could be considered to have four separate press impressions because each tower that the paper goes through when it's printing will have one impression. An impression occurs when the paper goes between the impression and the blanket um, for the black tower, and then on the yellow tower, and then the magenta tower, and then the cyan tower. But in printing, if it's all going through a printing, a single printing press, in one pass on press, we only consider it to be one impression. So if we are printing one press size sheet through a two color printing press, even though two impressions technically occur, we still only consider that to be one impression. One sheet means one impression through the press. The same applies to any other printing press. So like a six color printing press, in theory, six impressions occur for each of the six colors that it's printing. But when we talk about that six color press, we expect it to print six colors. So we would say it is one impression or one pass through the printing press. When we talk about impressions, every sheet of paper that you print, every PSS, will only have one or two impressions. If it prints on one side, if only the front of the sheet of paper prints, it has one impression. If you have to flip that sheet over and send it back through the press, it has two impressions because you print the front, flip it over, and then you print the back. The image below is of a four color printing press. Four towers means four colors. 
So each time one sheet of paper passes through the printing press, four colors can be applied to it. So again, in theory, an impression occurs one, two, three, four times as the sheet of paper is going through the press. However, because it is a four color press, we would only consider that to be one impression. Why? First, every sheet of paper that passes through the press must go under all four of the towers, even if we're only printing one of the towers. So that when we talk about the speed of the press or the impressions per hour the press can print, it's based on assuming all the towers are on. And second, um, it makes it more complicated to try to calculate based on four towers. So when we talk about the speed, we simply say if it prints 18,000 impressions per hour, what it's basically saying is it can print 18,000 sheets per hour. If it's a two color press, it means it can print um, 18,000 sheets and make two impressions on each sheet, but we're still just gonna say it's 18,000 impressions per hour. Now that we have a basic understanding of what a press impression is, we can use that to calculate the time on press. The steps that we need to follow are one, we'll multiply the number of sheets needed times the number of passes each sheet needs to go through the press. And the answer will ever only be one or two. It either prints on the front or it prints on the front and the back. Once we calculate the total number of impressions, we'll divide that by the speed of the press or the impressions per hour of the press. And this will give us the time on press in hours. And last, once we know the total number of hours on press, we can multiply that times the BHR to calculate how much it will cost for that time. It's a little complicated because we have three formulas and each formula is dependent on the answer to the previous one. So you want to screenshot or print or copy this slide here, but in order to calculate the cost for the time on press, our ultimate goal down here, we are first going to calculate the number of impressions, which is the number of press sheets times the number of passes. And again, it will be one or two. It either prints on the front or it prints on the front and the back. Once we have the total number of impressions, we'll move that value down to the second formula and we'll divide the total number of impressions by the speed of the press described in impressions per hour. How fast can that press run? The answer will be the time on press. Then we'll take the time on press and we'll multiply it times the BHR, the budget hourly rate for that press, and that will give us the total cost for that time. That's a lot to take in, so let's go through an example together. In this example, we are going to print 1,500,000 postcards. The job prints four slash one, and what that means is it's described as four over one, or in this example, CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, over black, or CMYK on the front of the sheet and black on the back. When you see that fraction, the numerator represents the front of the sheet and the denominator represents the back. And it does not matter how many colors print on the front or how many print on the back. All you're asking yourself is, does it print on the front and does it print on the back? In this case, it prints on the front and the back of the sheet. We've determined that the postcards will print 21 out on 700, um, not 700, 71,429 sheets of 23 by 35 inch paper. Our press can run 16,000 impressions per hour and we charge $560 per hour for that press. If we follow the steps to calculate the, the cost for the time on press, we must first calculate how many press impressions are required for the job, then how many hours it will be on press, and then ultimately how much will it cost for that time. So the first calculation is how many impressions. The formula is number of sheets, which from our problem, we have already calculated to be 71,429 sheets of paper times the number of passes. And again, it's only ever one or two. In this problem, the job prints on the front and the back, so it has two passes on press. We'll print the front, we'll flip the sheets over, and we'll put them back through the press, and we'll print them a second time. So 71,429 times two passes on press means that this job has 142,848 impressions. Now that we know how many impressions, we can calculate how much time on press. The formula for that is the total number of impressions divided by the speed of the press. And based on this information, we know it runs 16,000 impressions per hour. 
So 142,848 is the total number of impressions. We'll divide that by 16,000 impressions per hour. Impressions will cancel out of the equation and the answer will be left in terms of hours. So 142,848 divided by 16,000 comes out to 8.928625. We're gonna round our time on press to two decimals. So the correct answer for this is 8.93 hours. Then for step three, we can take 8.93 hours and multiply it times the BHR. So the formula is time on press times the cost or the BHR for that time on press. So 8.93 hours times 560 hours dollars per hour, which I pulled out of the word problem, means that this job will cost $5,080 just for the time it's on press. We'll also charge them for the paper and we'll charge them for the ink and we'll charge them to cut their their project to size, but just for the time it will be printing, it costs $5,080. See if you can give this next example a try on your own. Pause the video and when you're ready, we'll go through the answer together. So in example, in example two, we are printing 23,650 letterheads. The job prints two over zero, meaning it prints two colors, in this case, black and blue on the front, and there's no printing on the back. We've already determined that the letterheads will print four out on 5,913 sheets of 17 inch by 22 inch paper. Our press runs 3,500 impressions per hour, and we charge $140 per hour for that printing press. The first question is how many press impressions are required? So the formula is number of sheets times number of passes. If we look at the example, we've already calculated the number of sheets. We don't have to calculate that. The answer is 5,913 sheets. So we'll take that and multiply it times the number of passes. And it's either one or two. It either prints on the front or it prints on the front and the back. This job only prints on the front of the sheet. So we'll take 5,913 um, 5, and we'll multiply it times one pass on press, which means this job has 5,913 impressions. Now that we know how many impressions, we can divide that by the speed of the press. In the example, our press runs 3,500 impressions per hour. So we can take 5,913 impressions, divide it by 3,500 impressions per hour, and get a total number of hours as 1.6894285 and more. We're gonna round that to two decimals, so we'll say this job will be on press for 1.69 hours. And finally, after we know it will be on press for 1.69 hours, we can multiply that times the BHR, which happens to be $140 for this press, which means the total cost for the time on press for this job is $236.60. In order to keep moving forward, we need to put it all together. We now know how to calculate press impressions, the time on press, and how much it will cost for that time on press. The next example problems take press impression calculations one step further. You will need to calculate how many sheets are needed for the job before you can do any of the press calculations. And as we have reviewed several times by this point in the semester, in order to calculate the sheets needed, you must first calculate number out and then use the number out to calculate the number of press sheets needed. Since we've already reviewed number out and sheets needed calculations several times, I'd like you to try this next problem on your own without me walking through it with you the first time. See how much of it you can calculate and see if you can ultimately calculate the total number of impressions, the hours on press, and the cost for the time on press. When you're ready, press play on the video again and we'll walk through the answer together. So for this example, we're printing 7,500 jumbo postcards that print that are 18 inches by 24 inches. The job will print four over zero CMYK or cyan magenta yellow and black on the front and no ink on the back. We'll be, we will be purchasing sheets of paper that are 25 by 38 inches and the paper we're purchasing is 80 pound Hanawart gloss text. Our press can run 6,500 impressions per hour and we charge $325 per hour. In order to calculate the cost for the time on press, the first formula 
is calculating total number of impressions, but that formula requires us to know how many sheets of paper we are printing. In order to calculate the total number of sheets we're printing, we must calculate number out. Our, our press sheet size is 25 by 38. Our item size is 18 by 24. When we divide 25 by 18, it comes out to 1.38 or one whole time. And when we divide 38 by 24, it comes out to 1.58 or one whole time. So for option one, if we orient the postcards in this direct, or the, the jumbo posters in this direction, we can get one out. If we rotate the jumbo posters, 24 goes into 25 1.04 times or one whole time, and 18 goes into 38 2.11 or two whole times. One times two means that option two produces two out. Two is greater than one, so for this problem, we would say that we can run two out. Knowing we can run two out means we can now calculate the number of press sheets needed. We are producing 7,500 jumbo posters. When you divide that by two posters per press sheet, that means we need 3,750 press size sheets. Now that we know how many press sheets, we can go ahead and calculate the cost for the time on press using those three formulas. The first is number of impressions. So we have 3,750 sheets. This job prints four over zero. It only prints on one side. So it only has one pass on press. So the number of sheets and the number of impressions are the same, 3,750. Then we can take the number of impressions and divide it by the speed on press. 3,750 impressions divided by 6,500 impressions per hour means that this job will be on press for 0.576923 or if we round it, 0.58 hours. Last, if we know it will be on press for 0.58 hours, we can multiply the time on press, which is not a lot of time, by the cost for each hour on press, which is the BHR, and in this problem, that's $325 per hour. So 0.58 times $325 per hour means to print these jumbo post posters, the time on press would cost $188.50. That wraps up our lesson on press impressions. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to define what a press impression is and to make a connection between what a press impression is and how that relates to printing towers on an offset lithography printing press. You should also be able to list the basic steps needed to calculate the, the number of impressions, the, um, the, num the time on press, and how much that time will cost. Then you should be able to use those steps to calculate the impressions and calculate the time and calculate the price on press. And then last, you should be able to expand your knowledge of press impressions to take it one step further to actually calculate how many sheets you need and then how many impressions and then how much time and then how much that time will cost.